What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am going to be covering some super stupid basics, okay? But again, as you caught on any of my previous videos, I truly believe that 99% of people miss the basics. And so this right here is super powerful, super basic, super easy. But again, I guarantee you, most of you have not done this, okay? Have not done this and have not taken it to this extent, which you have to do, man. This is social media, this is, this is personal branding, and this is what I call step one of social media branding, okay? So here's what kind of happened with me, and I, and I, and I did all this myself, like, like for myself. This is all my personal um, accounts, okay? This is not for a client. Um, but this is what I did for myself and it kind of happened to tell you the truth. Um, I believe the thought came to me this morning to tell you the truth. I don't think it was last night. I think it was this morning. It was this morning when I just thought of the name inspired digital and I spell inspired a little different, right? It's normally spelled with an I, I spelled it with an E. Okay. Because I'm really trying to think of a name for my, for my actual company, right? Because right now I've been building a social media agency for the past couple years. And, I, and I've been running under, a, under a, a, sole a sole proprietorship, which is Cantero Media Group. But one thing about, about business and, and naming your company, sometimes it's good to name it your personal name. But then a lot of the times it's great to name it something general because you never know man you never know how big you can build the damn thing and you never know if you if you may want to sell it in the future and so that's kind of the only reason why you would name it something different and something general and not your own name is for the ability um to to be able to sell it right like no one's gonna want to name like if your name is stacy dash and you named your entire business Stacy Dash Incorporated like there's no way in hell I'm going to go and buy your company like it's named Stacy Dash like you brand everything under Stacy Dash you know so you want to kind of keep it general if you have that long term thinking you know some of you guys may not have that long term thinking and 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 it's not that I do but then again you never know like you never know and that's why I thought of just incorporating and branding Cantero Media Group but again man I'm, I'm thinking of, 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 of long-term. I'm thinking of digital courses. Like that's where I want to go. I want to go into digital courses. I want to go into e-learning. I want to go into digital, digital publishing. And when you, and when you start to, to roll out different products like that, again, you can build it. Some of these gurus that we're following, man, they're making 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 million, you know, and, and whether you whether you like him or not, but I truly believe that Ty Lopez is damn near at a hundred million, you know, in revenue. And if he's not at a hundred, he's damn near he's damn near close. And that's all through courses. That's all through selling digital courses, right? So you can scale it really, really high. That's my ultimate ultimate passion and goal is to teach and and be able to monetize from the teaching and you do that through digital courses digital courses and affiliate marketing being able to make a commission on affiliate products month after month after month being able to make residual income off of software like landing pages or email autoresponders that you're not even having to own you're simply referring others to other software like Kartra, for example, that's what I do with Kartra. And my whole goal with that and vision with that is just to have thousands of people that I referred Kartra to. And that, that would pay me a ridiculous monthly residual income. That's what I'm fired up about, man. Um, so just this morning, I'm like, okay, let me think of a more general name. Like, let me think of, because you never know, again, where, where I may be, may be taking this business. And so inspired digital is what popped in my head. So here's what I did right away, man. And this is again, what I call step one of social media branding. Think of that one power name that you guys want to run with. And here's what you do first. Okay. Here's what you do first. You think of that name and ideally you want it to be short and unique. You want it to be 15 letters or less ideally. 
And the reason why I say 15 is because Twitter is the one is the only one, the only social media platform that that requires 15 letters or less when you're customizing your username. And some of you guys may not even use Twitter. To tell you the truth, I don't even use Twitter. But again, we're thinking long term, we're thinking branding, we're thinking legit, le legitimately setting up everything and we need we need twitter twitter is one of the top six platforms we need it regardless if we're going to be using it we need to list it we need to have it active and we need to have it up okay so so 15 letters or less once you think of that magic name that you're going to just freaking run with here's what you do first okay you go over to gmail and again, some of you guys may be using Yahoo, but again, I go with Gmail because with Gmail, I can then start my YouTube channel off of that email, okay? So you come over to Gmail, come over to Google and just hit add account and just simply check if that name is available, okay? This is where you wanna start. This is step one, okay? Step one within step one. So what you're gonna do is hit use another account and you're gonna create an account just do it for myself and then just create that new account whatever that company name is or that username that you're gonna run with get the Gmail first or at least see if it's available because here's where we where, where, where the, the the where you may run into a brick wall and this is this is how I do it if that Gmail is not available I don't take the name I don't take the name because I I don't want to change up my name like I don't want like again I went with inspired digital if Inspired Digital would have been taken, there's no way I'm gonna go with Inspired Digital One or Official Inspired Digital or Inspired Underscore Digital. Like, there's no way I'm gonna tweak it up. I need the name, like the full name, no spaces, no dots, no numbers, no other characters, the name, okay? So you wanna check for that Gmail first. Once you get the Gmail and you solidify it, you confirm it and it's locked down, then you're gonna come over here to Google. You're gonna come back to Google and you're gonna simply type in cheap domains. You're gonna type in cheap domains. And the one you're looking for is this one at the top, the ad, the GoDaddy ad, the 99 cent GoDaddy ad. You're gonna see if the .com is available. So that's step two. So number one get the gmail number two come over here and see if the dot com is available now if you get the gmail and you get the dot com you're good to go because chances are no one else is using that name um at all especially if they're, they're definitely not using it in a professional manner if anything you know if they didn't get the gmail if they don't even have the dot com there's no way that that they have the instagram you know what i mean so if you can lock down the Gmail and if you can lock down the .com, it's safe to assume. And, and again, you, you want to do it this way because it's, it's only costing you a buck, if anything. Let's say you get the .com, it's available, um, but then you go to Instagram and someone has the Instagram. Okay, shit, man. It costs you a dollar. It costs you a dollar. And in and, and that case, again, I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste the time setting it all up if it's not identical. The, the whole magic and the key to this entire strategy is that everything has to be matching everything has to be 100 percent identical i need that exact name for the gmail i need that exact dot com and then once i do that then i come over here and i set up every social media platform okay so i come over here and this is stuff that i just did right now it literally took me an hour from start to beginning to set it all up okay I went out there and I and I set up the, the Instagram and I customized the user name okay and then I came over here to Twitter I set up a whole brand new Twitter and I customized the user name now the profile picture and and the cover photo I'm gonna change that up I just put something for for now if you look the pics it's all it's not it it's all messed up it's blurry the cover photo looks you know completely horrible it's blurry so i'm going to definitely change that up which i'll get into that's the next step um but at least i locked it down i want to lock it down i want to put a photo and and if you noticed i put the same photo on 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 even instagram so it's the same photo okay same profile picture 
same profile picture. And then what I also went over here and set up was the LinkedIn, okay? So I came over here and I set up the LinkedIn and I customized the user name. So there's linkedin.com forward slash inspired digital. I customized the user name. Okay, same profile picture um, and all that. And then what I also did is I set up Pinterest. So even though I don't even use Pinterest, even though I don't even use, you know, even Twitter, I still set it up. You still have to lock down the name. So you set it up. Everything is tied to my new email, which is inspired digital at Gmail. Okay. Everything's tied to that. My dot com is on it and the username is, is simply matching. Okay. So that was Pinterest. And then, um, Oh, I bring back up my Twitter. So there's the Twitter. And then what I also did is of course, you got to lock down the Facebook business page. Okay. So I came in here, I set up a whole new page, a whole new business page, and then I locked down the user name. That's the most important you guys. That's a whole key to step one is that you have to lock down the user name. Okay. So that was Facebook. And then what I also did is I set up now with YouTube, you cannot customize the, the, the username until you're at a hundred subscribers. So this channel that I'm building right now, it's tied to a different email. It's tied to all it's, it's tied to my, all my David Cantero three P that's my personal brand. Um, David Cantero three P. So this is a channel that I literally just opened, but I opened it. I set it up. It's up. Um, it's, it's bookmarked, so I have everything bookmarked right here. I set up a folder, everything is bookmarked, and these are your top six platforms. Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Facebook, and YouTube. Again, all of them are customized, but this YouTube channel is not customized just yet. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do on this channel, um, if I'm gonna build it at all, at all, but at the same time, at least it's locked down. So here's what I did, you guys. This is where it's all at, okay? Um, there's the dot com, there's my Gmail, and here are all of my social media platforms. These are the two products that I plan on rolling out under this uh, business name. Um, and those are, those, are, those are my two digital courses, digitalagencyblueprint.com, which the link for that is in the description. What I'm gonna be doing with that product is teaching people exactly literally step by step a to z like everything every every everything i'm not holding anything back i am revealing everything that i've been doing for the past two years to build a six-figure social media agency without any paid ads no door knocking and for sure no cold calling i literally did 100 percent of it on social media prospecting on social media messaging people on social media from the messages to the replies to how I get them on, on Zoom to do a full-blown presentation to how I get their credit card and close them as a social media client. I, um, if you caught my previous, previous videos, I, I closed over 200 clients alone in 2018. So I have this part mastered down. I'm gonna be teaching people how to start their own social media agency doing exactly what I did. Um, doesn't have to be the same niche. There's, a, there's many, many different niches. But what I want to show you is my, is my strategy, how I got these people, how I reached out to them, how I messaged them, how I scheduled appointments and how I closed them. And I did, I did it all from my small little office here in San Diego. So that's digital agency blueprint. If you're interested in, in starting your own social media agency and doing it very simple, it's more of a beginner's program. So for those of you that are running crazy Facebook ads and, and building your own agency and you're already scaling up and you already have a ton of clients, that, this, that, that program's not for you. That's for the beginner. That's for the, the aspiring um, social media agency or the person that's trying to build one but, but hasn't cracked the code. I'm telling you, man, I've closed hundreds of clients with one simple strategy, one simple niche, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do that in Digital Agency Blueprint. 
Com. So if you're interested in that, make sure you get on the VIP. The link is in the description. And then digitalcourseblueprint.com is where I'm going to be teaching people how to start their own course. So just like me, I have my own course. Um, it's specifically for my niche. I'm teaching them social media marketing. I'm teaching them Facebook advertising. Those are for clients that I have in my social media agency today. So um, I've already experienced how to create a course, how to, how to put everything together on, on it with video and, and, and the platform and, and all that stuff. And that's digital course blueprint for, so for those of you that have, have, have a passion in something, you could be good at cooking. You could be good at baking. You could be good at yoga. You could be good at, at fitness and working out or diet plans, whatever the heck you're good at. I want to teach you how to turn it into profits through digital publishing how to turn your knowledge your passion and your skills into profits through digital publishing that's digitalcourseblueprint.com so if you're interested in that um, get on that vip those are two courses that i'm heavily working on um, they're not out yet but just get on the vip so you'll be the first one notified when i drop those courses and i'm not talking about expensive courses man those are not going to be hardcore expensive courses the value is going to be based on real hard hardcore experience on what i've been doing no theory no hype just just a blueprint on what i did to succeed with my social media agency and then also how i built a course from, from, from um, my skill of what I knew, which was social media marketing and Facebook advertising, okay? So that's digitalcourseblueprint.com. If you have any passion of your own and, and, and you would like to monetize it, find the niche, find, 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 find your lane, and how in the heck do we deliver the product to them all online, that's Digital Course Blueprint. So get on the VIP for that, and I'll keep you, I'll keep you posted for sure. But I created all of these platforms, the name, the Gmail, all of the social media platforms for these two products right here. So again, I didn't want to go and, and name the, the business Cantero Media Group um, because with that is, is that, that business name is, is what I use to build my social media agency. And that's why when you come over here to my actual Facebook page, like my actual personal Facebook page, this is not where you want to follow me. So Facebook, if you guys request me on Facebook, in fact, I already have, I'm already maxed out, but I don't take um, everyone. I, I only focus on my specific niche on all these friends. So over here is where I brand my, my social media agency, Cantero Media Group, Cantero Media Group, Cantero Media Group. Everything is one name, Cantero Media Group. Um, so this whole entire new project that I'm rolling out here, um, it's all under this name inspired digital. Okay. And those are the two products that I'll be focused on. So this right here, man, is, is basic step one of social media branding. Okay. Go lock down the Gmail, go use that Gmail to lock down the dot com. Okay. And then take that same Gmail to set up all of your platforms and just simply log into each one of them. Now, when you set it up, obviously it's not going to be this name. You have to go into the settings and you have to customize the username. Okay. And so that's what you want to do. But this right here, you guys completely. And then, and then also here's what you want to do. Also, once you set up everything, here's the next step. Okay. Here's the next step. Obviously every profile picture you want to be the same. Now this is just temporary. This is not going to be my profile picture, but I put it there just, just for now. Look at this one. This one looks horrible. You know, it's all pixelated. Um, so, so step two is, is making sure that the profile picture and the cover photo matches for all of them. Okay. Now, once you do that, okay. Step two is the profile picture and the cover photo. Here is step three. What you want to do on step three is you want to come over here to the about section and you want to list everything. So you want to list everything. This right here, man, you want to list the email. You want to list your .com. You want to list your Twitter, your Instagram, your Pinterest, your LinkedIn. I don't know why the icons are not showing on these two, but that, that, that's LinkedIn and, 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 and Pinterest. But Instagram, Twitter, the dot com. So all of that is showing everything looks clean. That's what it's all about, you guys, is, is having one name. And again, man, if, if for some reason that one name is not available, start with the Gmail, 
then go and get the dot com. And if you can lock down those two, chances are the social media platforms are available as well. But again, if for some reason it's not, I would not alter your name in any way, shape, or form. Like I would not because it just throws off everything. You need it to look flush. You need it to look clean. You need it to look freaking professional as, as can be. And that right there is crushing it. Okay. That right there is what you call crushing it. That's how you match everything and it looks super legit. Okay. Now here is the final step. Here's the final step. Now I just started this Facebook business page literally an hour ago. Okay. About an hour and a half ago, about an hour and a half ago. Once you lock down all that, okay, then you're going to simply come into your ads manager and you're going to run a Facebook like ad. Okay. So what I did is I have a like ad that I turned on literally about an hour ago. Okay. So let's see how many likes we got on the page so far. This is the last step. This is what you absolutely have to do. Okay, so we're at 31 likes so far. Um, and it's been, it's been about an hour. It's been about an hour. So that right there, you guys, is powerful. Because I'm going to take this up a few thousand. Um, it's going to cost me a few bucks, not a lot at all. Um, but that right there gives even more social proof. So when an individual comes to my page, not only do they click on about and see all my social media links, everything is matching, everything looks super legit, but then they also look at my like count and my like count is at 3,300. So that right there is super, super powerful. And that's why I've ran the like ad on, on, on all my pages. Um, but let's, let me show you my, my other page, my social media page. So you, I don't know if I'm going to take if I'm going to take the likes up this high just yet, but I might, I might, I might because I've already done it on my other page. So Cantero Media Group on this specific page, I ran the like ad on this page and took the likes up to I think I'm at um yeah, I'm a little over 18,000. So that right there you guys, that right there is what you call social proof, okay? When people come to the page and they click on about, they'll see all my social media links. Everything is matching. Everything looks super, super clean from the email to the dot com to all the social media links. And then when they look at the like count, they're like, holy crap, this company or this person must really be doing it. 18,000 likes. Are you kidding me? So that right there, the perception on that is unlike anything else, that's social proof. You need that. Don't, don't start a business page and then just, just come over here and click invite um, and just invite your friends. Don't do that because chances are most of you have only a few thousand friends on your personal Facebook. Some of you only have a few hundred. And even though you can come in here and select all and invite all at one time, you're not going to get nowhere near 1,000 likes. Even if you have 5,000 friends on your personal page, you can invite all. Not even 1,000 are going to like your page. You may have like 300 likes, 400 likes, if that. And I'm talking with someone with 5,000 friends on their personal page. So you cannot click invite and, and expect that number to be high. You can click invite and get to 100, 200, 300. Some of you guys that have a Facebook business page and you have, let's just say 600 likes and you've been clicking invite, you know damn well you've been doing that for a long time. You've been clicking invite for a long ass time. And it's just not worth it. I can run a Facebook, I can run a Facebook like ad and I can have 600 likes in a freaking day you know, literally off of a super small budget. So you want to take that like count up super, super high. Now, again, you don't, high, high to me is, is I mean, high is, is different for everyone, man. Like you, you don't need crazy, crazy numbers. I mean, you probably not, you probably on that like ad, you, you might not even need 18,000, but to tell you the truth, why not? If you're only spending a few bucks, why not? Just take it up as high as you want. Um, and that's, that's the last step. And then after that, after that, your page, people don't even know you and, and they just come to your page and they see the, the perception, they see the social proof and they automatically think and assume that you're King Kong and you're really, really doing it. And it's because of these basics, you guys, it's because of these basics um, that are super, super important. And the reason why that like count is so high is because again, 
on social media, no one knows you. Like you guys that are watching my video right now, 99.9% .9 of every single one of you guys that are subscribed to my channel and watching my video this very second don't know me. So you're going to judge me on something. I don't know you, so I'm going to judge you on something. If I go to your social media, I'm going to judge you on something. It's either the pictures that I'm going to judge you on, and I'm not saying prejudge you in a, in a negative way. I'm just saying psychologically, I'm already assuming, and the perception and the prejudgment is there. Psychologically, it's human nature. We all have an opinion on something, no matter if it's good or bad, right? So you want to, you, you want to show me a big number. You want to show me a big number right away. And so it starts with the links so people can know that you exist elsewhere. They see your Instagram, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, your Pinterest, and everything is matching. And they're like, damn. And then they look at your like count, man. And if that like count, if there's a comma in that like number, you look super legit and you automatically gain the attention of people no matter what. Like that's just what it is on social media. So the links and the like ad is the most important and it's the most important and it's the most basic, but it's what you got to do first. Okay. This is what I call step one of social media branding. So hopefully that made sense. You guys go lock down your name, go brand yourself, whether it's a business name or, or your personal name, think of one name, right? Think of one name. And again, I'm going two different approaches. I have my David Cantrell three P that, that, that is what I call my quote unquote personal branding, right? That's kind of where it's all at. If you can use your name, that's great. But then when you start to build products and you start to build different services and you're thinking long term and you're thinking, okay, I do want to build this into something big and who knows, maybe one day I may sell it. Then my biggest advice is use a general, a generic name, use a name that's more general, but super legit, like super freaking insanely amazing to you. Like that name needs to be amazing. Like it needs to be an amazing name and inspired digital is what I like. You know, that's my personal preference. That's what I like is inspired digital. And so, um, because I'm dropping digital courses, that's the product line. It's digital courses. So I wanted digital somewhere in the company name and, and I wanted to take my name out of it. Okay. So that's step one, you guys go out there, lock down your name, implement it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, man. I'm talking social media marketing. I'm talking online advertising. I'm talking branding. I'm talking online entrepreneurship. So subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, drop me a comment. Let me know where you're from. And I'd love to chat with you guys soon. All right. Over and out. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.